Hello everybody, this is of course the great and glorious seem to be famous one day. Nick Nutch, back again one more time for another delightful tarot show. For those people out there who are new to the tarot show, and there are a few people out there who are watching on a wide variety of different devices. I've got people who are watching this on their mobile phones. I've got people who are watching this on their TiVos. Uh, you know, there's lots of people out there who are just discovering the show. Make sure you subscribe, okay? Uh, this is the place which is just for you, okay? You go through your days and, like, you got to care for your work, your colleagues, your family, your friends, and all this kind of stuff. you got to do your shopping, got to pay your bills, and, oh, it's all a bit hectic. When it comes to the tarot show, this is the place where you can relax, and this is a bit of you time, okay? It's not a bit of me time. Obviously, I'm the star of the show, okay? But on the other hand, this is there for you. And what you can do is just sit back, relax, have a nice cup of tea or an adult beverage or whatever it is you prefer, and just enjoy and watch a professional tarot reader doing his work so that you can gain a bit of insight, a bit of perspective, maybe calm down, take that it's just that moment to step back and find that kind of like inner peace kind of thing now i do tarot readings on this one particular channel that is correct okay and today we got the help of the annoying little pussycat hmm? this um particular annoying little pussycat usually turns up when i'm in the middle of filming and something really rather important such as the tarot show hmm, isn't that right isn't that right pussycat yes uh, so he obviously needs a little bit of love so he can try and keep him happy and calm and content so I can carry on working just for you and just for your requirements. I'm going to get on and do some uh, do some readings first. A very quick announcement. Obviously a tarot reading, a uh, psychic reading, clairvoyant reading and all the rest of that is legally billed as an entertainment service for good common sense reasons because you're still the final decision maker in your life. There is still free will no matter what some people say. Okay, So if you maintain that level of clarity basically you're going to be alright. Now, uh, what more can I tell you? Of course, I do this job professionally. I can't give you total, complete and utter insight here on the tarot show because... It's a question of time, it's a question of viewership, it's a question of trying to care for everyone all the time, you know what I mean? So it's a question of getting that balance right. Okay, so if you want to spend time with me on the phone, then quite simply, not a problem. What you do is you've got to dial, dial a few numbers, get on the phone, talk to me, and we can try and sort out your problems one by one, bit by bit. I can lay out the cards, I can do it psychically or clairvoyantly or in any way you see fit, and we can try and provide you with what you require. Now, there's a couple of websites to go to. One of them is Kumar. Now, there's a UK, uh, an EU or European Union, as well as a USA version. So the UK one is kumar.co.uk. The European one is kumar.eu, okay, for European. Mm -hmm. And the final one is kumar.com, C-O-M. Now, Kumar is spelled K-O-O-M-A, and I'm on pin number 2483 on Kumar. There's another one called Psychic Light, and that's there for both people in the UK and the USA, okay? And on that one, I'm on pin number 2020, that's 2020. So have a quick look at those things, and basically you'll see me there. On Kumar, I'm under the name of Nick Dutch. On Psychic Light, I'm under the name of Dutch, just simply Dutch, D-U-T-C-H. Okay, so you'll be able to see me there. I'm wearing my trademark little hat there. Okay, so you'll you'll know it's me. So without further ado, I've witted on far too long already. Okay, must stop me from doing that. Well, actually, you better not. Uh, I'll get straight on with the readings. Here we go. Okay, M W R K nineteen ninety would like to know about a particular you know situation. Will they find their soulmate soon? There was a relationship with somebody there going on, but essentially that hasn't quite worked out according to plan. But not a problem. Obviously, thanks for requesting the reading in the previous tarot show. All right, because like the more requests I get, then that basically keeps me coming back, keeps me doing what I can do. Remember, this is the only place where I can provide you with readings free of charge. All right, so bear that in mind as well. Okay. Hmm. I'll quickly show you the cards and we'll take it from there one by one. Okay, we got a little spread here. It's a chronological spread, so we're doing five cards. So this is not the um, eight-card relationship reading. We're not work reading on one particular person. We're just going one step at a time to see what's coming through here. So we start off with very fiery, very passionate energy, which is what you're feeling at the moment. You're also feeling dark, and that's essentially the dark 
colour of the horse itself. And I think in some ways you are a bit of a dark horse because you know more than you let on if you get my drift. But the feeling of the reading is that taking this darkness and trying to be motivated and not accepting the negative and actually thinking more about the positive. Now the progression here we're seeing very strong signs of loving energy and nurturing energy, responsibility associated with the relationship, more romantic signs coming. So the bulk of the reading, okay, we're talking about th um, three out of five, okay, of the whole reading itself is talking about love in its own right. Talking about a quality of a relationship which will actually work out okay. Followed by earth signs, down to earth attitudes, down to earth relationships. That's what we're all after. That's what we all want. So essentially you have something good happening for you, potentially within this very year. So it looks very interesting. Okay, Ryan. Oh, great news. You're thinking of getting married. Okay, that's the best bit of news I've heard for a long time, you know, and when someone out there who I'm talking to and who I'm engaging with is actually going to like consider sealing the knot. You're concerned about money. We all are. And primarily, you're mainly concerned about the reception. But that's obviously a very big occasion. And uh, there are ways of doing it frugally. And I have actually seen some TV shows recently. And there may actually be some websites as well which will go into the skills of organizing a wedding reception in the most frugal manner possible. So that's something that you really need to think about, bear in mind, take, um, take seriously really. But let's have a quick look and see what the, uh, what the reading says because you're not asking about the relationship, you're asking about the money. Let's have a quick look. Hmm. Okay, now this may surprise you because of the quality of energy we got coming through. But I'll quickly show you the cards and we'll take it from there, okay? Right, so this is your concerns part of the reading. This is the end result part of the reading. This is the way I'm seeing it and the way it's coming through to me. You're allowing the worry about all this situation to really, really get to you, which is understandable, all right, really understandable. But I don't think this is like the real thing. What you're doing is you're taking like a serious question you've got and you're turning it into a bigger monster than it really is, okay? So you're terrified of things not working out well. You feel that you know life's been unfair to you. There's a sense of, I've been held back. I'm in a position of powerlessness. And there's nothing more I can do about it. And it's all really getting to you just a little, all right? So if you just try and consider this to be just a bit of a monster and not necessarily a real evil demon, okay? If you try and see this as being a little monster, not a big monster. If you try and see this as being a molehill, not a mountain, if you try and see this as something you will have the ability to get over, then the stability and the passion and overcoming negativity is going to start coming your way. All right, It's about perception. This whole reading is talking about how you perceive the situation influencing the way that things can actually be, rather than necessarily that everything is, oh my God, it's tragic, it's terrible, you know, and all the rest of that. So relax, remember to breathe, take it easy, all right? And I believe you will be able to make it. But do think about researching other opportunities too as to how it can actually uh, transpire. Okay, Melanie, you've got a situation with your ex-boyfriend. He's stringing you along. And you've also got this like really complex business you're setting up using all your skills, all your knowledge and all the rest of that to just to try and like succeed and achieve and make it and get by. Which obviously is very hard for everyone these days. Okay, let's have a quick look. Let's see what the reading says and we'll take it from that point bit by bit. Here we go. Shuffling the cards very thoroughly. We'll have a quick look. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to show you the cards and we'll take it from there. Side of things, okay, this is all your business side of things, so think about things like this. The whole energy here is actually quite positive, and I think this is to do with the foundation that you've got, the foundation you've built up in terms of your skills, your knowledge, who you are, what you are, what you're about, and all the rest of that. You're, you've got a very good sense of um, caution and wisdom, and you take things slowly when you can, okay, sometimes you get a bit impatient as well. But to the most part, you're actually quite prudent and practical and you want to work for um, a feeling of real success further on down the line. Now, there's a bit of a sense of there being like um, energy and vitality there, but you do beat yourself up once in a while when things don't quite work out according to plan. So in this particular case, I think that, you know, again, you need to breathe, okay? You need to carry on going back to your prudent, cautious time and realize that this is a process to get to this bright, sunny signs of the future, okay? The bright, sunny signs which I believe are going to come your way. The sun refers to gold sometimes, okay? Gold as in money, gold as in medium of exchange, gold as in success, and of course, 
whilst trophies which are gold are regarded as higher than silver and bronze. Now, the progression here is rather interesting. The readings, the readings portraying you as someone who's independent and in charge of your own destiny. You've got your own willpower. You know what it is you want to go for, okay? Very much a go-guessing individual. But you're thinking about your ex-boyfriend so much, that's actually affecting your ability to deal with the business side of things, and that could slow you down, okay? Now, the energy of your ex-boyfriend needs to be taken with a pinch of salt, yes, but I don't think he needs to be taken with a shovel of salt. All right, you need to sit down with him and get him to tell you precisely what he wants and then tell him he's got to demonstrate that through his conduct. That time of communication is going to come and when you when you use it, you'll start to get basically take out all the negativity, take out all the stress, take out all the frustration and bring the relationship back to a point of, yes, now we understand each other. Now we can start to move things further forward. Now we can actually be happier and um, start to get some serious success and achievement. All right. That's the way it's looking today. So, yes, your financial side of things will eventually work out. But you need a readjustment of your own internal attitudes in order to get there. And of course, sorting out the issue with your ex-boyfriend will actually bring about clarity, which will give you the ability to be motivated to achieve what you need to achieve. Okay, Carla Louise, you want me to have a look at your future and just see whether, whether, whether there's any interesting energies coming through. Obviously, a bit of an interesting question. I prefer people to give precise questions on the, on the tarot show, okay? Much better to, to do things that way. So let's have a quick look anyway and see what's coming through. Bear with me a second. And for anyone out there who doesn't yet know, the way that you request a reading is you send me an email to nickdutchtarot at gmail.com and what you do is you give me your first name, your date of birth, and a question. All right? That's the way it works. And then I can provide you with what you want, okay? Hmm. Carla. You've got a very interesting spread before you right now. I'll, I'll quickly show you the cards and we'll discuss it. Right. Now, there's a feeling of frustration with your working life. You haven't been treated too well. There's a feeling of some form of pessimism or negativity associated with it. There's a feeling of uh, not being treated well. And there's also a bit of a sense of needing to be more self-reliant. Now, in this particular case, it feels like you've got a feeling of instability which has been imposed upon you. Okay, a feeling of instability which has been imposed upon you by someone or something else which is interfering with your ability to start feeling calm. So that's why we got the emotional negativity signs there. We've got a bit of a sense of struggling or fighting or needing to protect yourself coming through, but also a knowledge that you can actually be very successful and to achieve and actually have a time of celebration in the future. The very good news is over here. I love the star card, and I think you should too if you understand what the star card refers to, okay? It refers to a time of doing rather nicely for yourself. It refers to a time of the desires and wishes you've got starting to be brought into fruition and a sense of joy, happiness, and and I would say abundance as well. So there's a feeling of prosperity there in, in the longer term future. There's also a romantic component there, and I think that correlates back to part of the feelings you're going through. But on the other hand, this is telling me that things are going to start to work out better. Almost as if you've got an extra bit of spiritual guidance you're not very aware of. Okay, I believe you've got a bit of extra spiritual guidance or a spiritual guide who's probably there to start taking you through this difficult time in your life and start to provide you with a bit more um, insight and perspective to help yourself out. That's the way I'm seeing it. That's the way I'm feeling it. Okay. Okay, clear diamonds. You've got a few inquiries there. Very close, very close to the heart and the soul. So obviously a bit of a difficult situation. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tell you what the reading says. Your main question is... Why are you single? Okay, well, let's see what the reading says. Here we go. Bear with me a second, please. Hmm. Right, here we go. We got signs of transformation, transformation, change and progress. That's looking very good with a sense of an almost childlike state of joy coming further around the corner. You're being portrayed as someone very strong, very stable, but you also want other people to respect that. And I feel you try very hard to make friends. I think you should try less hard to make friends and spend more time just having a gentle, positive energy because like, the sense of you being appreciated is actually coming through quite nicely with a feeling of um, further joy, further opportunities for happiness and a sense of nice things, really. 
why have I got this sense of there being a convivial time of celebration and recreation for both yourself and somebody else coming? It looks like almost like a party atmosphere or something really rather positive in that particular nature. So there's something interesting happening there, which could basically do you an awful lot of good. The energy of this particular reading uh, is that of taking it easy as well as focusing on your needs. All right, you need to have a relationship, you need to be stable, that, that's very good and very strong, yes, but you also need to be the, of the energy to attract something positive. All right, and I'm sensing something really rather good happening. You are deeply loved already, it's just you don't know it. And I think you need to remember that. that it, it does feel like there's an energy quite close to you, who's someone who wants to approach you, but doesn't always feel that they can. So that's something else to be aware of as well. And that may help to bring about the transformation. Hello, Apricus. Now you've asked for a love reading. You haven't asked me who you want the love reading on. So that's a bit sort of like naughty, naughty. That's not done, is it? Okay. So when you're, on, when you're making an inquiry on the Tarot Show, ask the question. It's not a question of, I'd like a reading. Okay. Can we please have more specific questions, please? Because that's like really important for me. If you want me to go into more detail at a later stage, get on the phone. The links are down below in the information box. So use them, basically. Alright, remember it's on kumar.co.uk or kumar.com or kumar.eu and kumar is spelled K-O-O-M-A as well as psychiclights.com and those are the main places where I'm working pin number 2483 on kumar and pin number 2020 on psychic lights but we, just for you, okay, just for you as I know you've inquired before and I quite like you really we'll just do a very quick spread just to see whether there is anything of um, transformative nature there you've got love coming you've got love coming which is interesting and very this is like a heart bond, spiritual bond sense of communication over distance feeling communication over distance leading to um, a time of passion and togetherness which will overcome a feeling of strife and struggle and provide you with tranquility okay so this is a gentle spiritual individual very much a water energy so sensitive hidden depths okay a person with hidden depths is what you got to look out for and that's where the bond will be being built cup signs cup signs love signs of a passionate nature sense of spiritual connection um it's all there all right so as you start moving into the future you're going to start to see and sense a bit of change all right all right we got someone inquiring called little devil and little devil has been in a bit of a in humdrum town for a while you know things have been a pretty constant pretty consistent and it's been getting a uh, little devil down a little bit which is all sort of not very positive obviously little devil wants to be in a position of happiness joy success and achievement like we all do okay and things have just been getting a bit frustrating so we're looking at the possibility of a move to somewhere else or something else of an exciting and stimulating nature coming through in the reading today will we have it let's ask the mystic tarot shall we Hmm. Okay, I'm going to give you bad news and good news here today. All right. Now the way it, the bad news is coming out in continual Earth signs in your short-term future part of the reading, talking about look towards the stability you've got where you're at at the moment, and also try and look for something more exotic in the here and now, which is going to give you a different perspective and start making you excited and enthusiastic about life all over again. That's the first thing. And then you've got to take that enthusiasm onto a new environment because signs relating to travel and getting rid of negativity or interference is slowly moving you, uh, you know, slowly coming into your life I should say as you progress into the longer term future all right so the feeling of being held back being constrained being restricted all right that's slowly 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 going away and this sense I've got this very strong very powerful sense of initially look for something else a little more exotic where you are at the moment to give you that je ne sais quoi because you know you, you've I get the feeling maybe because of financial need you focus on you know too much on the financial side of things wants to maintain that level of stability first prior to doing something a little bit more alakazam basically but the reading is giving you a bit of alakazam there okay the knight of swords actually speaks about some forms of conflict yes but also communication also healing and also 
putting in energy and drive to actually make things change. But it's also based upon the mind. It's an intellectual card, all right? And being an intellectual card, it's talking in this particular case about thinking about the same thing in a different direction first and then creating a change which helps you to move into an environment which basically suits your needs and your nature. That's the way it's coming through to me today. All right. Okay, we've got another one inquiring about trips to a foreign country. Sorry, name this one is. I want to have a quick look and see what the reading says. We're just focusing on the energy of travel. And we'll see whether there are some good traveling signs coming through for you to enable you to feel that everything's going to start to create what you want and bring you that heart happiness that you're after. I think it is a heart chakra happiness you're definitely after in this particular case. Hmm. Oh, yes, we've got it. I'll quickly show you and demonstrate basically what I'm talking about here. But I think you've got it. I think it's coming very soon. And you're going to really, really be excited about it. Okay, Lightning Struck Tower is beautiful. Some people say, oh no, dark and dangerous. In some, With some questions, it can be dark, it can be dangerous, it can be scary. With your question, it can't be. Because you're talking about you want to turn your life upside down, and that's what the Lightning Struck Tower talks about. Now, the Adjustment card, or the Justice card, is talking about balance and equilibrium. The balance is internal, the change is external. So you will be a centered person and carry your centeredness to your new location which means that that's going to be part of how you're going to achieve things which are good for you. So the, the progression there is actually quite nice on lots of different levels. The sense of passion and drive to create that change is definitely there and a feeling of newfound stability on an external level will come your way as well. I wouldn't be at all surprised if there wasn't some passionate stuff associated with the change too, possibly even someone overseas who you want to meet. That's the way it's coming through to me. Okay, Suslik, you've been having dreams recently about getting married, having a child, settling down, building a family and all that kind of jazz. But you haven't been feeling very much yourself at the moment. Now, I'm not legally allowed to read upon pregnancy, medical matters or childbirth because I'm under a regulation at the moment. There are regulations which govern this service. Okay, so I'm under regulation. I have to follow and obey those regulations all the time. So I can't read upon pregnancy, medical matters or childbirth at all. I can't even suggest something to you along those lines. But what I will do is I'll do a reading looking at happiness in general because that's essentially what we're really talking about here, realistically speaking. Obviously, I'm shuffling the cards like crazy. I want to make sure we've got a nice random pattern. I'm sure you understand how sortilege works with the idiomotor effect as well as like higher consciousness understandings and that sort of thing. Okay. Hmm. You've got a curious reading. Okay, let's have a quick look and see what the reading is saying for you. Okay, uh, contemplation leading to progress, leading to a sense of being self-sacrificing, but you want to sacrifice your energy for other people. You want to be in a position whereby somebody else is more important than yourself so that your compassion can go towards them, okay? So the feelings here are, in fact, a little bit more uh, complex because, essentially, you're at a new time of life when you know your happiness is all about like change and progress and trying to see things in a different way that's what the reading is basically talking about so this particular reading is it's interesting you have felt the possibility of being in a position of futility don't do not ever believe that what you're going through at the moment is a reflection of the future don't ever believe that what you're going through or what you have been through in the past is again a reflection of the way things are going to be it's not true the hangman does speak about killing the old, okay, to bring in the new. And in this particular case, that's a message of sacrifice in a different way because you're getting rid of your negative self, your negative points of view, your negative ideas, negative emotions, negative feelings, and in order to overcome the feeling of negative futility so that you can generate the feeling of completion, wholeness, and satisfaction. And that will be coupled with other changes in your life which will be of a loving nature and with a sense of healing, all right, so you've got to be your own healer, you've got to be your own magician, you've got to be the one who brings about those changes. And my reading saying that you can and you will do it. And this time next year, your life will be a completely different kettle of fish than it is at the moment. And you need to have faith in that, okay? Faith is something that you have when you don't necessarily have all the facts. But in this particular case, you don't have all the facts because you dwell upon the past... And you're seeing the past as being something in the future, which I don't believe it is. I feel you're at the point of sacrifice and the past is truly in the past. And what's going to come to the future is this stability and healing we're seeing there. 
all right with a sense of greater satisfaction and, and all kinds of good stuff okay may would like to know about 2013 and when it starts to pick up because 2012 wasn't all that good bit late in the year for a new year reading but what the hell we'll do it anyway okay shall we let's have a quick look and see basically what the reading's talking about so here we go bear with me a second please all right we've got some very interesting signs here coming through for you i'll quickly show you the cards here we go Right, now, we've got a few signs of you anticipating that the future will be... I mean, this is a bit like the last reading, okay? Because there's, there's just that feeling there of looking to the future as almost as if it's going to be as bad as the past. But there's still this, this train of there being positivity. I think you need to start building a gratitude list, all right? A list of all the things which you're grateful for, which will help you to change the way in which you see the outer world because the feelings I've got here uh, emotionally there's healing there romantically there's healing there with your family environment there's healing there as well so there's something positive is happening as far as all that is concerned and there's just this bit of a sense of starting to generate a, a new life for yourself so the, there's a feeling of celebration with family members there's a feeling of joy there there's also a bit of a sense of kind of like defeating evil it's difficult to describe, but it's kind of like defeating evil, defeating some kind of evils in your life. A bit of a sense of fighting against forces which have been holding you back. And that beautiful Venusuvial level of tranquility, centered, central balance, central, central chakra is all there for you in your longer term. Things are going to start to chill out for you. It's going to be good. Okay, we've got an inquiry called Unlucky Black Cat. We'll just have a quick look at Unlucky Black Cat's situation because Unlucky Black Cat feels they're pushing against the wall all the time and the wall isn't moving. And they're rather concerned as to whether this is like, you know, basically, you know, a big bad obstacle that shouldn't really be pushed against sort of thing. So we'll just have a quick look and see basically what's coming on through here. Bear with me a second, please. Right, okay. Now, this is interesting because I believe that... And this is going to sound weird. It's almost like this obstacle is put there to protect you first. And then it's a question of doing the same thing in a different way to bring about the result that you require. I mean, the signs we've got here, if you think about it this way, obviously a sense of doing things from the heart. That's you. That's you just thinking like, I've got to do things right. Do it from the heart. Do it from what I feel is correct and all the rest of that. There's a sense of protectiveness, but that's also the protectiveness could be an obstacle as well as a sense of joy but eventual success but that's coming after the signs of there being that feeling of the obstacle there which makes me feel that this thing that you're pushing against has got to go away so you you are in this energy at the moment you are in that uh, saturnian i've got to learn from this uh, this energy uh, and also that martial feeling that planet of mars feeling of i've got to carry on fighting but also this sense of yes there is a land of milk and honey waiting on the other side you've got to do the same things in different ways that's the main thing I'll tell you, all right? And trying to, you know, manage your expectations, but also think about trying to bring about the result as well. Okay, D, you've got two inquiries. You broke up with your girlfriend, and now that's rather painful, and you want to see whether you're going to get back together again. And secondly, you run a film company, and you want to make sure that's going to sort of like start sorting itself out. Well, let's have a quick look and see basically what's coming on through here, okay? All right, bear with me a second, please. Okay. All right. Okay, with your girlfriend, first and foremost, we'll do this one nice and quick. This is the energy we got here. Change, definite, and also a sense that they've still got some feelings for you, but strife and struggle. When they look back at the relationship, they see problems and they see obstacles which they don't feel that can be got over completely and utterly straight away. So this is a misinterpretation, misunderstanding situation, which has basically been like plaguing you, holding you back, and basically getting in your way. So... You need to develop clarity of thought, you need to develop clarity of understanding, and you need to have that time of conversation to try and overcome difficulties. Now, the good news is that time of conversation appears to be there for you in a very big and a very positive way, because strife and struggle can mean a desire for closure, and you're not getting closure from her right now, but I feel that closure is going to start coming. What you do with it, that's up to you. But remember, a time of closure is coming, so you can try and use it productively. Let's just try and turn over another one to see what we've got there. Hmm, that card's turned up rather a lot today, okay? Very much Earth energy messages are very much on the energy, despite the fact it's a lovely day outside and it's beautiful weather, okay? So, 
this is a question of trying to bring about real understanding in a situation where there isn't all that much of it, which I believe you can do and you will do and you should do, and it's going to be good. Now let's have a quick look for your film company, okay? Hmm. Right. Again, not looking too bad. Got to get the balance right, but the balancing question is who you're dealing with, how you're dealing with them, and how you can start to bring things about. So you're very passionate about your film business, all right? That's something which will do other people a lot of good as well as do yourself a lot of good. This particular reading is giving me a sense that, hmm, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. You've got to know who you're dealing with, how you're dealing with them, and why you're dealing with them in order to get to where you want to go to. But the sense of there being a, a, a progress. I mean, you're not quite there yet, but you will be. Just have faith. Okay, now that's all the tarot readings we're going to do today. I've got more on the computer, okay, over there, which we're going to have a look at in the next tarot show. And we'll just carry on trying to get tarot shows done as regularly as, as I possibly can. Obviously, I've got plenty of things I've got to get done and plenty of things to achieve, all right? But if you need to contact me in the meantime, you can. That's the wonderful thing about my job, okay? I am there to be contacted, and I listen. Unlike a lot of people in a lot of different jobs, a lot of different industries. There we go. The Mystic Tarot goes back into its box, and the Mystic Tarot box goes back into the Mystic Tarot bag as we come to the close of another tarot show. The way that you can contact me is for the free readings in the tarot show, you go to the email address, Nick Dutch Tarot. You send me an email. It's nickdutchtarot at gmail.com, I should say. You send me an email, including your first name, your date of birth, and your question. If you're asking about someone, it will be useful to have their first name. Okay. If you're asking about a situation, give me a bit of basic background, so I've something to hang my impressions upon, then everything else can start to flow nicely. Now... I can't give you too much detail on, on the Tower Show, and for that I feel very sad. But what I can do is I can give you a bit of insight, and I can provide you with a sample of what it means to be communicating on the phone with someone who is a professional practicing psychic, okay? I work over the internet, over the telephone, and that's the way things are in the 21st century, and it's absolutely wonderful. And when you do have a telephone consultation with myself, we can cover all kinds of issues. We really can, and it's all very confidential just between you and me, and I'm not going to tell anybody else about it under any circumstances, all right? That's just the way things are. Remember, Kumar, K-O-O-M-A, uh, .co.uk, or .com if you're in the USA, or .eu, I'm on pin number 2483. And also with psychiclight.com, I'm available on pin number 2020. And I definitely look forward to speaking to you soon and tackling your problems and issues and bringing you closer to that level of clarity and understanding and wisdom um, that we all want to be in. Because basically, since the dawn of time, all humans have ever wanted was answers. And that's what I can help you find. All right. Look after yourself.